YouTubers that you've watched for five, six, seven years that now have amassed a lot of followers have also been in your shoes. If you have been wanting to start your YouTube channel, but you're scared that your inner circle, your friends and family are gonna judge you, the public, strangers on the internet are gonna judge you, it's gonna happen regardless whether you start it or not, so why not just do it? I am making this video in hopes that it encourages you to start your YouTube channel if you've always been wanting to. I just recently hit my 500 subscriber mark on YouTube, which is crazy because at one point I thought it was impossible. I started my YouTube channel three years ago in 2021 and I posted my first video. It's just a collage of videos, but I knew that I just had to get over the fear of putting myself out there and posting a video. So I did that. And over the past few years, I've recorded a lot of videos, I've posted a lot of videos, and I've also deleted a lot of videos. And I think that's a common thing that actually happens when people start on YouTube is we get so excited in the beginning and we want to record everything and anything. And we want to put all these videos out on the internet. And then we go through the imposter syndrome phase of are my videos good enough? Am I good enough? Who's going to want to watch me? Why would anyone care about what I have to say, what I have to share about my personal life experience? And what I've learned ever since starting my YouTube channel is that everyone, though we're all so different and unique and we, nobody else is you but you, we all go through the same experience. The YouTubers that you've watched for five, six, seven years that now have amassed a lot of followers have also been in your shoes. They were also at one point scared, nervous, didn't really know how to work a camera, didn't know editing that much, but over the years, it it's part of time. You learn, you experience, and you decide whether you want to stick with it or not. And the YouTubers who have amass a huge following are the ones that have stuck to the game and worked on their craft. I've mainly gained my subscribers through YouTube Shorts and for a while I was a little bit scared because I didn't think that my videos were good enough. I didn't think I was good enough. At one point I thought that you know these subscribers were like autobots or scams or fake accounts because I couldn't believe that my channel was actually growing and people were actually subscribing to my content and my boyfriend had to remind me that you know it's me that I need to be proud of myself and that I need to continue to do what I'm doing and just continue to grow and learn and get better at my craft to continue experiencing different types of video different types of format different types of content because I did not plan to post as many shorts as I did I really only wanted my channel to be long-form video but once YouTube started incorporating shorts I started posting fitness content on there because I figured that those are quick little 30 second clips and didn't have to be a long form video. And I started to notice that those started doing really well and was pushed out into the algorithm. So over the years, I've just been kind of playing with YouTube shorts and with my editing and just watching a lot, a lot of YouTube videos and observing and noticing certain trends or how certain creators do the videos. And I've been incorporating all that I've watched, all that I've learned into my own YouTube shorts. Now, my long form video, I have posted a lot in the past and I've deleted a lot, mainly because those were just videos that I weren't, I wasn't proud of, but that's the thing is that it's okay to not be proud of videos that you post. You can post them, delete them, do whatever you want, it's your channel. I think the most important thing is to be comfortable with what you do put on your channel, what you put out into the internet, into the world. I think it's important to remember who you are as a person and if one or two of your videos doesn't actually 
fit with who you are or how you present yourself, then it's okay to delete it. You know, it's your channel at the end of the day. And I think it's only right that you gain a following or you gain subscribers through just being you. And that's the beautiful thing about YouTube is that anybody can post on YouTube. It's free. It's a free platform. And there's so there's such a variety of content that you can post out there. There's people who do vlogs. There's people who are educators. There's people who focus on a specific niche. I intended my channel to be a lifestyle channel, which I plan to going forward. I plan to post more long form video. Now that I've been seeing more momentum and success on my YouTube shorts, I want to slowly incorporate that into my long form video. The thing about long form is that it definitely takes much longer than you think it would. I have been trying to set up this shot and the lighting and you know, with our dog Ellie, I've been trying to have her calm down. So it's been about like, I spent around an hour to just be able to sit down in front of the camera and talk. I am horrible at public speaking, if you can't tell. And I used to be very embarrassed about it. But I remember watching a video on YouTube and the guy, he was a professor. He said, to get better, record yourself every day for 10 days and talk about a product and watch yourself, hear yourself, hear how you talk. And posting videos on YouTube has actually helped me become more confident in myself and has made me be more aware of how I sound and how I talk. I think more slowly now before I speak and I'm able to laugh at myself. I'm able to be embarrassed about myself, but laugh about myself, you know? And I think that when you become comfortable with yourself, in front of a camera that it shows through the camera and I think being genuine shows through the camera I think the viewers can feel that and see that because I know I watch a lot of youtubers and I can see when people are being genuine and authentic and when they're not all that being said I hope that this inspires you to pursue YouTube or pursue whatever you want to do in life because again, you'll never know how far you'll get if you don't start. At one point, I did not even think that I would reach 100 subscribers. And when I did, I was so excited. And once I started seeing the subscriber count go up, I couldn't believe it. And now here I am, 500 subscribers. I'm just so grateful, so thankful, and I'm so excited about where my channel is gonna go, where I'm gonna go, and I hope that you stick around and stay with me on this YouTube journey. So again, thank you for watching my video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.